Have you ever wondered if there's a difference between tears of sadness and tears of joy? We actually have three types of tears. The first is basal tears, which are just produced regularly to keep our eyes moisturized and healthy. The second is reflex tears. Think of reacting to a windy day or cutting an onion. And then we have emotional tears. But even emotional tears differ in their composition from one another, whether they are due to sadness or joy. Sad tears contain more stress-related hormones like cortisol and adrenocorticotropic hormone and sodium. While happy tears contain more feel-good hormones like oxytocin and dopamine, and they also have higher concentrations of potassium. Both sad and happy tears contain albumin and prolactin, but the concentration of both is higher in sad tears. Albumin is thought to make the tears more viscous and salty feeling, and prolactin is associated with emotion regulation. Both sad and happy tears contain endorphins, but the concentration is higher in happy tears. The difference in composition of our tears might help to explain how we feel after we cry. It's thought that the composition of sad tears might help to somewhat detoxify the body of stress hormones while triggering an improvement in mood due to the release of endorphins to the brain. So next time, don't hold back. On the other hand, the composition of happy tears reflects the increase of oxytocin and dopamine released in the brain, with some reaching the tears as well. I've noticed that my eyes tend to feel more dry and uncomfortable after crying sad tears, but I've never really noticed a difference after crying tears of joy. But what about you? Have you noticed a difference?